Welcome to Drawfee, where we take dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Nathan. <laughs> I'm Tristan. <laughs> I'm Julia. I'm Jacob. <laughs> Tristan, what's going on, dude? Uh, Being melting? I haven't been here in a while. <laughs> Did you get I'm caught? I'm trying <laughs> to make it last. <laughs> Sounds like Tristan got stuck in some gelatinous ooze because we're doing D&D monsters that is we've that never seen monster? before. It is, yeah, gelatinous ooze. Yep. It's a type uh, of, of there's... there are many types of gelatinous oozes. Uh, there are many types of monsters in the D&D world. Uh, they're very fun and silly. This was suggested to us by Rahuhi. Uh, Rahuhi! Thank you, Rahuhi, and others, I'm sure, have suggested this in the past. We we designed original D&D monsters a little while back, but I want to try and get some monsters wrong. And and should we roll the dice and see what we get? <laughs> I have uh, actually brought my own D&D character to the fold. You might know my name. <laughs> He's back. It's the Lore Librarian. Lore Librarian, do not be mistaken. Tristan is the character. Oh. <laughs> he is my OC. <laughs> He is a very well fleshed out character, Laura Librarian. I I, yeah, don't listen to him. I don't know <laughs> what to believe. It's fine. I've i I've subsumed, I've I've taken over the, the personality. It doesn't matter who's born first. It's technicality. I'm here. Who was born first? I have always been. <laughs> I wanna draw something. <laughs> Nathan! Yes. Your Dungeons and Dragons monster. Yeah. House Hunter! <laughs> As in the HGTV show House Hunter? Not to be confused with House Hunters International or Tiny House Hunter. Man, I hate those shows. <laughs> the couples so are the worst. They really, really the are. Worst, yeah. I don't is... want this house because it has popcorn ceilings, but I will take the house with the cracked foundation. I want something that's very secluded and also close to amenities. I mean, what is that? <laughs> My favorite is watching Tiny House Hunters and the the couple's like, we want a house that's like really tiny. And then they get shown a house, they're like, well, see, this house is too small. <laughs> this house is, can you believe this house? is? It's so small. So what, you're on Tiny House Hunters. Excuse me, I requested an ensuite bathroom and an attic, and I don't mm-hmm. see enough storage space to uh, be able to store all of the crap I said that I would get rid of when I moved into a tiny house. Don't, uh, just don't move into a tiny house. If you could house. accommodate me for this. You're like, yeah, this tiny house could be pulled by a car, lady. Yeah. You're not getting an ensuite bathroom unless ensuite means like outdoors and peeing on the lawn. It's like, oh, I'm sorry. I think what you actually want is just a normal sized house. <laughs> yes. You should have gone on normal sized house hunters, you unthinkable dipshit. <laughs> but I just really wanted to save money and travel a lot. You know, I'm not home alone. I'm not going to get any information about this <laughs> monster. Huh? I have good I have good news here, Nathan, because you have started to s- draw what is uh it looks like a house monster. Yeah. Uh a house that is a hunter. Yeah. That is not far from the truth. Okay. Usually I try to not uh, describe anything and give it visual characteristics, but it's very tough for yeah, this one. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, house hunters are large relatives of mimics. Uh-huh. Oh. Those uh those treasure boxes that ain't what treasure boxes, they got teeth instead. Ain't yep. no treasure in there, dog. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Um, they have gained the, the ability to live above ground, and they form hard shells like stone that, that resemble stone, wood, or thatch, and so they look like a building. Mm-hmm. They're big traps. So they do look like big houses, but then mm-hmm. they kill you. Uh-huh. It's the it's that movie Monster House. <laughs> remember that movie Monster House? I do. I, do. I, I saw, remember the movie Monster House. I saw Monster House in theaters. Did you? Yeah. Why? Uh, it was free at Comic Con one year. I was like, "This is fine." Was it fine? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Way to go, Monster House. I saw a poll lately, a, a Smash Brothers roster pick that that was like tiered all the Smash Brothers characters by what they thought of Monster House and like who <laughs> fucked the house and who didn't. What? <laughs> Excuse me. That's just like peak internet, right? What there. does that yeah. mean? I don't. Uh, I don't understand what that even means. It has been ten years since I've seen Monster House, so I don't. I don't know all the details. I've never seen Monster House. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've never seen surprising. Monster House. Oh. It's uh, surprisingly good. That was like was when fun. all those movies came. It was like Monster House and Paranorman and mm-hmm. uh, the the dog, the dead dog one. Frank and Weenie. My yeah. dog is dead. My dog is dead. The movie. The my movie. dog Skip. My dog. <laughs> my dog Skip is is dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the full title was My Dog Skip is is dead. Mm-hmm. There's an ellipsis in there. Mm-hmm. Little pause. 
think it's just like lifting. It's just revealed itself. Yeah. Oh, I see. They do have soft underbellies, so you've got that there. Mm -hmm. I think uh, it's just got like some dirt, like foundation. Yeah, there's there some and... some foundation. I was thinking like maybe I'd try and give it like sort of like a clever house front, but I think I just wanted to draw a monster face. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't a very good uh, or convincing house. No. So, yeah. it, so it's just sort of like, hey. <laughs> it didn't have a door and it had so many eyes. Way more eyes than my house has. It looks more like a shack hunter at this point. Okay, well, <laughs> I'll give it a little chimney. How's that's that? Good. How's that? Uh, now you know it, how it has a, a hearth. Can we just have like a couple that's standing nearby and they're like, actually, this house has like too many teeth. I know I said I wanted a house with teeth, but. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put all of that in the. Uh... I didn't want like a ton of teeth. Uh, this isn't really compliant with the homeowners association. Uh... <laughs> I know I said I wanted some bloodlust in my house, but this house is clearly fiending for human flesh and blood. This but... doesn't seem safe for my children. <laughs> I do love the open concept. <laughs> I do like that I could both be close to the city and away from the city. And also devoured. <laughs> well, it's yeah. got a novelty front door. I'm kind of into that. You know, it stands out from the other houses. I'm noticing some leaks in the roof. Is that going to be fixed before we sign? <laughs> oh, it's e oh, it's eating me. <laughs> <laughs> Could I have like a little like for sale sign somewhere? Up <laughs> yeah, that's that's sticking up out of the out of here. That's a huge for sale sign compared to those humans. Yeah, it's it's how, nice. How you get? I catch the attention. Yeah. It, it needs to be visible from like very high up in yeah. case it is walking at that time. There he is. Yeah, just get these There's little these little people down here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you think they're going to go for it or no? Uh, well, we have to see what house options two and three are. That's yeah. true, yeah. So uh, <laughs> That's what always gets me. It's like the, that's the big commercial break near the end of every House Hunters episode. It's like, which one are we going to pick? We yeah. came to this bar that paid us <laughs> to discuss <laughs> to discuss this. I don't know, and then they cut to commercial like it's a big shocker. Yeah, like it's gonna it's gonna blow your mind. <laughs> uh, you know, I watched a bunch of like British house hunting shows uh, uh, on my vacation uh, last oh, they year. They call they call them flats. Call them flats. It's like uh, flat uh, coast versus country, and a lot of times on those shows they just don't pick anything. Really? They don't yeah, pick one? yeah, they're they just decided. like they're just like nah, we're not we're, we're not we actually move. don't want to move. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas like house hunters, it's like they already bought this house like before yeah. Yeah. the show started. Absolutely. And this one is just like uh, <laughs> Dana and Paul just decided to stay at their flat in London, <laughs> and that's it. And then the credits roll. Wow. <laughs> So that's really disappointing. <laughs> that's so anticlimactic. It's more, more honest. I like it. Yeah, it is like more real, I guess. <laughs> but it's like, did they ever really want to move, or they just want to be on TV? <laughs> Did Unclear. they even want to do that? Unclear. Can I talk about the most annoying House Hunters episode I've ever watched? Yeah. No. Uh, oh. So this guy <laughs> wanted to move. I said no. I'm going to keep going. Julia, you shouldn't have asked, is the thing. Well, see, I've asked permission. Now I'm just going to keep going. Mm -hmm. This guy uh, wants to move his family to a country where only he speaks the language, uh, much to his wife's just like, well, I guess I'll learn eventually. <laughs> I guess I just um, won't speak to anyone. Yeah, I just, I don't have friends or family that live here, but that's okay. I'll adjust in time. And then he said that he wanted to be close to work, but also have a party space. And by party spa space, he meant bar in his house. And the wife's one request was that there weren't a lot of stairs and that it was safe for the children. So they wound up picking the house that had five levels to it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, and every and the wall whole, is covered in knives. The whole front lawn was all just rocks. <laughs> they literally yeah. had like a little rock garden yeah. that was their front lawn. And the wife would have to walk up like like the kitchen was on the third floor, but the bedrooms were on the fifth. Mm -hmm. And the bar was on the first floor. Oh, my it's God. Priorities. Priorities. So, yeah, if, in case it wasn't clear by based on the fact that they were going to a country where only he speaks the language, yeah. uh, only his needs were important to yep. him. That's, that's compromise. That's, that's compromise. compromise. Here we go. <laughs> Give up everything and gain nothing mm -hmm. for your partner. And she was just so like, 
Well, you know, these rocks seem like they might be a, a detriment. We have very small children that like to pick up things and throw them at each other. Um, but that's, I guess I could just watch our five children uh, Our five by stupid myself. children all eat rocks. <laughs> <laughs> and now there's just rocks everywhere. I can't possibly keep track. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done with I this. You did a great job, Nathan. I like Thank how you. you made them little adventurers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cute. Because it's D&D. &D. They, yeah. ha they have to, uh, the house has to hunt something, mm -hmm. I think. So I like that you've illustrated that here. Yeah, for sure. Um, can I look it up? Yeah. Um, for this one in particular, you have to rely on some, maybe some fan illustrations because there's like one official D&D &D illustration and it's just like a front door. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I like that one with the little spindly legs. Will mm -hmm. only legally be allowed to show the door. <laughs> oh, this is a fun one. That's a very fun one. No, we can show anything we want as long as we say no copyright intended. Uh-huh, that's yeah, true. Yeah, in the description of the video with mm -hmm. a lot of asterisks. All credits to owner. All credits to owner. Let me in here, Nathan. Yeah. Mm. Jacob. Yes. Your monster. I can't wait. You cannot. You shan't. Intellect. <laughs> Devourer! Ooh! <laughs> Intellect Devourer. That is correct. All right. That sounds fun. <laughs> okay. Uh, Intellect Devourers appeared in the original edition supplement known as Eldritch Wizardry. Oh, sure. Uh, cool, yeah. And uh, it is lawful evil. It uh, It is a, a minion of the Mind Flayers who breed Intellect Devourers to serve as roaming hunters of the Underdark. This is from the manual. Uh, creating intellect devourer by taking the brain of a thrall and subjecting it to a horrible ritual. Oh no. Hey, what is this two nosed goofy you've made? <laughs> Garsh. <laughs> uh, this is a brain with eyeballs, Julia. Oh, okay. Uh, is actually what's going on here. Uh, I, you so, know, this is the brain of a thrall. Uh huh. Um, I'm going to make it look more like a brain, I think, is what I'll do. Okay. Yeah, because right now it looks like two eyeballs with two eyeballs on it. I was going to say like two pecs with like very. Distorted nipples. Mm. I just saw a butt. <laughs> <laughs> I got a That's butt. Fair. That's Mine fair. looked like a butt from over here. Uh, no, I figure like this is the brain of the thrall, and they did uh, what rituals to it? Uh, a horrible ritual. Horrible a, ritual. A horrible ritual. Mm -hmm. just, just one. Just the one. Mm -hmm. But it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. Yeah, the 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 thrall brain is not like super mm -hmm. psyched on. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Let's give it some sad. I wish they hadn't done that ritual to me. <laughs> They are found dwelling deep beneath the ground or in dark, dismal lairs in the wilderness. <laughs> dismal lairs. Mm -hmm. This guy sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Although they are able to attack with their great claws, their primary offensive means is psionic, for they subsist on the psychic energy of prey, whether gained from the dying shriek or more subtle means. Is that so helpful? It, this yeah. Is, uh, this is helpful? It's a bummer monster. It's just, it's just, just a real downer. Yeah, this is a real Debbie Downer. Well, what happened here. is he went to this dark ritual, mm -hmm. this horrible ritual, and now he won't stop talking about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, so he, no, he deals psychic damage because everyone's so bored. No matter <laughs> what other people are talking about, he's like, oh, that reminds me of this horrible ritual I uh, I was involved in. They're like, oh, oh my, my God, God, dude, we know. Derek, this is all you've talked about. On. Yeah, He's going to have like his hand up like, uh, did I mention um the ritual? <laughs> Like, Derek, yes, dude. You mention it every time. Every time you go to trivia night, you won't shut up about it. They burned incense, but it was like so pungent. And <laughs> I couldn't breathe. I couldn't. It I made could, me like, a little nauseous. I could, yeah. I got so lightheaded. I'm just not a Nog Champa fan, you know? I don't get the point. Uh, so he has like, you said claws, like big claws? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, Cla so. Claws and brain is what uh, They're I'm, great claws. Yeah, great claws. Oh, these are some great claws. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Horrible ritual, great mm -hmm. claws. Mm -hmm. uh, cyanic attacks, psychic energy. Yeah, uh, it kind of like will wake you up at <laughs> night and and like remind you of like terrible things that you've done. Oh sure, awkward moments. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, remember? you remember that thing you did in middle school when you barfed all over Courtney's uh, shirt at uh -huh. the at the gym uh -huh. and remember, everyone laughed at you? Remember that time you were talking shit about that one guy and then it turned out he was standing right behind you that whole time? You felt like an asshole? That was almost as bad as the ritual that, was, that happened yeah, to me, but it was, wasn't quite as bad. It was like a fraction of as bad. <laughs> remember when you farted in class and it was silent and you weren't sure if anyone heard and you told yourself that no one heard? But they actually all did. They actually all did hear. Um, I was there and I heard. Um, imagine that times a million. That was this ritual. 
<laughs> the ritual was just spin the bottle. They just played spin the bottle, and he hated it. I like how he's permanently like bringing something up. Yeah. He's permanently bringing up the ritual, uh, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. But have you heard about this ritual? It's pretty horrible. That's pretty, it's pretty cool, too. And by cool, I mean just horrible. Just the worst. Uh, yeah, and it's like, if you don't, if you stop inviting him to things, he gets, like, even more bummed out. And then, like, his psychic wails uh, become louder. He starts subtweeting you. Yeah, he starts psychically subtweeting. <laughs> Like some people think that just not inviting someone to things doesn't hurt their feelings, but it does. Oh, he's just got tiny legs. He's got little feet. He doesn't need his feet to do much. <laughs> yeah. So what's he do once he devours all that intellect? Does uh, he poop it out in little intellect poops? The intellect devourer consumes a creature's mind and memories, then turns the host body into a puppet under its control. Oh. An intellect devourer typically uses its puppet host to lure others into the domain of the mind flares to be enthralled or consumed. Great. So yeah, he's gonna have <laughs> like good. gonna have a little puppy. This is like his his friend. Mm -hmm. His friend. I just realized. George. I just realized that puppy should be what you call uh, affectionately call a puppet, not a small dog. Mm -hmm. What do you what would you call a small dog? A doggy. A doggus. Okay. Doggus. No, that sounds like a organ. I don't. Want to see? This is my little doggus. <laughs> no. You want to come over and see my new doggus? I Jake, don't. Jacob, last time you said this, we all had to have a meeting. Yeah, <laughs> I think I'm going to call training. HR. Tristan, do you want to see my doggus or not? Wait, come on. It's not a complicated question. We, we, we watched that video and it, it wasn't great, and now, now we just have to go watch it again. Come see my doggus just <laughs> once. Oh. We wouldn't have to have this conversation. <laughs> His hair looks very nice for being a puppet. Remember the time yeah. you kept inviting people to see your doggus? That wasn't <laughs> nearly as bad as this ritual. <laughs> there wasn't even a single doggus at this ritual, and that's telling you something <laughs> about the kind of people you're dealing with here. I like how this this dude, uh, this this puppet, is like kind of like subtly smiling. Like he died, he was like, he was fine with it. <laughs> I was kind of trying to give him like more of a. Well, I think like mm. as okay. you lose your intellect, you're probably just sort of like, everything's know. fine. Yeah, he he just kind of like, oh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's all okay. Guess I'll yeah. just thank God my intellect is gone, so none of this really matters to me anymore. <laughs> best best gift hard. you could have given to me. <laughs> Wasn't a big meal, if you know what I mean. <laughs> How do you defeat an, an intellect devourer? Oh, you, you gotta. Have to, you have to use some sort of um send your dumbest brawler. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, someone with no intellect. Jokes on you, idiot. I have no intellect. Remember that episode of Futurama where he fights the brains because mm -hmm. he's so dumb? I remember yeah. that episode of Futurama. Yep. Thank you for bringing it up. I also remember. That it's a one. good episode. Uh yeah, here's here's remember our intellect Remember that episode devourer. of Futurama? <laughs> there were brain characters. They're not like me though. They didn't go through any rituals no. I bet. <laughs> We didn't get to watch any Futurama during the ritual. <laughs> <laughs> well, they put it on when we're going to sleep. I like to watch it while I go to sleep. It's comforting. I wanted to watch Futurama to go to sleep, but they just kept putting on late season Simpsons. <laughs> it was a horrible ritual. <laughs> uh, okay, this is done. This is my boy. Look at this. And I love him. Aw, that's nice. And by love him, I mean I hate him, and I'm glad Every, I don't have yeah. to deal with him. <laughs> well, I can't wait till you look up and see what uh, the the <laughs> intellect devourer looks like. Oh, really? Yeah. Let me let me take a look at that right now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's a doggus. It's a little brain doggus. It's a brain doggus. It's a brain with legs. Look at this brain doggus. This I would accept as a doggus. <laughs> oh, he's gonna give you a lick with his little his little thing. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> he's gonna give you such a lick. Gross. What a good boy. Oh, wow. Do you sure you guys don't want to come see my dog? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Julia, get in here. Jacob's good. All right. More librarian. Are you ready? Yeah. Your monster mother. Skin kite. <laughs> mother Mother's skin kite? Oh, I'm sorry. I was calling you mother of monsters. <laughs> It's an in-joke for the fans. Oh, so it's not Mother Skin Kite. It's just Skin Kite. Just Skin, skin Kite. Skin mother kite. Skin Kite. Ridiculous. <laughs> Don't be crazy. <laughs> what? Skin Kite. Everyone knows Skin Kites reproduce S asexually. Skin Kite. Uh, skin Kite um, is classified as a small undead. It is from the Forgotten Realms. It's forgotten for a reason. <laughs> um, it's a neutral evil that helps you at all. 
It uh, is an animated slice of skin that is constantly in danger of rotting away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what does it do to you? Um, so uh, <laughs> from what I've read, they're basically like these big flaps of animated skin, and they kind of like try to like get up into high places and drop on people to get more skin because they are rotting all the time. So they're sk- they're just so skin. Gross. Why they're... do they even want to preserve themselves? It sounds like an awful existence. They, uh, you know, I, I, I can't I can't understand. Zombies, I, I zombies like brains, skin kites like skin. Uh-huh. They just want more skin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they you know enjoy... what I could really use right now? Just mm-hmm. some more skin. <laughs> just some more skin. Mm. Uh, let's see, from the physical description, um, no two skin kites look identical as their bodies are made of the skin type and color of their recent prey. Oh, well, it is... see, so Julia, <laughs> Julia, you could be right, because you know the skin kite we look up at the end of this, you can just say that yeah. it's a different one. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is not uncommon for skin kites to have random clumps of hair, <laughs> furthering their <laughs> gruesome appearance. Dude, oh, uh, sa- same here, bud. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> don't get me started on my random clumps of hair. <laughs> so this was mostly face. Skin skin kite, more like my shower. Am I right? Oh no. Oh god, Nathan. No. What? Clean your shower. <laughs> what the hell, dude? It means Where's the skin kite? Is it at the bottom? No, just just the random clumps of hair. Oh, I see. I see. Part. I was okay. I was riffing. I was. I'm a bad roommate. Oh. And I have random clumps of hair in my shirt. You know, it it's fine. Don't worry about <laughs> it. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Is that his little hand? Oh, he's got little hands. Please, I don't want to up here. He's scared of heights. I don't. I'm very scared. I don't want to get up here. <laughs> <laughs> I just, My hands are bad. Just imagining a little zombie boy flying their skin kite around the Please, graveyard. He's trying to do this to me. The skin kite hates it. What is that? It's his little fingers. His fingers are just coming out? His little fingers are just coming out. Oh. I should, my hands are never useful. Right, because it, it, it's just the hand skin. It's not. There's they, no bones. There are no photo. bones in this. This is a really ambitious skin kite. It wants to be more. I yeah. Have dr- I have big dreams. <laughs> they're all located on the ground. <laughs> who's, uh, <laughs> who's, who's, who's flying the skin kite? Oh, 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 I won't be on the ground. I have so many dreams. <laughs> this episode is an auditory nightmare. <laughs> Why do they all sound like Bobby from Bobby's World? <laughs> I've never seen that show. It, it, well, the original skin kite was taken from um, Howie Mandel. Howie Mandel, mm-hmm. thank you. You're welcome. I see. <laughs> Teamwork, that joke. That's why he's a germaphobe. He doesn't want anyone else stealing his s- flesh. Stealing his skin. That's yeah. how he lost his hair. That's where all his hair went. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It <laughs> became cl- random clumps of hair <laughs> on a skin kite. I'm so glad we're dropping hot Howie Mandel reps. <laughs> yeah. Deal or no deal, am I right? No deal. No deal. That's what's inside. The briefcases is just skin, skin and hair. Just skin and hair. You That's too. what they don't tell you. you. Set me free. <laughs> I'll take briefcase number twenty-seven, and like oh. the girl opens it up, and a bunch of hair falls out. <laughs> I would like it if it like a skin kite just like flew out, and just like Screaming. right onto their face. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, wrong briefcase, wrong choice. <laughs> Julia, these legs are just the worst. <laughs> what are you talking about? They're great. They're beautiful. Like the little hand is just kind of cute, <laughs> but these legs, I don't know. I don't know what to make of them. It kind of Im- implies a groin of some kind. That <laughs> yeah, I'm not prepared to deal with. Yeah, yeah I, I don't want to cope with that. He's pretty good at landing on people in just the right spot to get, um, to get the skin of <laughs> the appendages in the in the right spots. I mean, the eyes. I'm guessing probably were. The hardest ones to get because he couldn't see before it had mm-hmm. it had the eyes that mm-hmm. that eye skin. Yeah, you know, <laughs> gotta get the eye skin. Gotta get the eye skin before you can see. Oh, is this a is this sort of like a stunt skin kite coming up over here? No, that's just a mouth. It's just it's just a mouth. It's, just, <laughs> it's got some bones. I, I like <laughs> what? It's got, it's got some bones. It's got some bones. Julia, what is Where this? Where get the bone? Who is this? Where to get needs, the bone? He needs some charm person. Who is it? What is? <laughs> What am I looking at now? I like yeah, <laughs> Julie's just filling up the canvas. Is is this like um like a skin kite festival we're, yeah, we're looking yeah. in on? Yeah. 
It was like those like box kites of yeah. skin and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Aw. Oh, yeah, everyone's out with their skin kites yeah, flying so this around. One, this one's just got some teeth on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's wet. It's wet for some reason. Yeah, this is a very wet one. <laughs> it's fresh. Well, they said or, they, all, they all look different. Yeah, that's uh-huh. true. Uh, so they all might have different uh, you know, amounts of wetness. They're like kind yeah. of like very fleshy snowflakes in that way. Yeah, it's beautiful all if you think no, about it. Yeah. No two skin kites are exactly the same. It's beautiful. Uh huh. This one probably wishes it was different. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it can communicate at all. It looks like a, a very deflated Pac Man. Oh, this one's sort of patched together from, oh, from no. two skin kites. Who sewed it? Who's know. sewing it? <laughs> <laughs> the gods. No god would make this. <laughs> hey, you guys want more more legs? I, you know, we were <laughs> specifically requested no more legs. You guys That's want more a, legs? That looks like an arm. Oh, uh, so like, we're, that's not a foot at the end of it. What's <laughs> <laughs> at the end of it? <laughs> very beautiful. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> now it's a foot. There you go. A little knobby knee there too. <laughs> yeah. I love oh, hair. I love fantasy mm. role playing games so that I can I- escape from the horrors of reality <laughs> and just enjoy some fun, <laughs> high-flying fantasy. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the festival, it's bad. Can we start a D&D campaign where we all play skin kites <laughs> and yeah. go on an adventure? Yeah, there, there is like, someone made a mod where you can play as any monster in the monster manual. Like, hmm. you can, you can, Figure out your stats. Mm-hmm. That's well, just that's just a thing someone did. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. You could be a holder. Uh huh. Like beholder. Yeah. Is that what you're making yep. a joke? Doing I a got, little word I, joke. I uh. Is it walked, a bit of a fun word joke there? I took it all the way there and you you caught it. I caught it right in my hand and I I I kind of wiped it on my <laughs> pants because I didn't uh-huh. want to touch it. Uh huh. I got some uh, some Purell. If you, if you I need. do. I will be needing that. Yes. Julia's just gonna keep drawing these flesh kites. Guys, you know what the worst part about this is? Is that I'm gonna have to render all these flesh kites. I was actually thinking about that, and really looking forward to you colorizing all of them, adding a lot of uh, yeah. good skinny texture. I'm excited yeah, to texture, see some like tone. some veins maybe running yeah, through like them. Subtle veins underneath the skin. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the the interplay of the light through the the thin flesh. Yeah. I think will be really beautiful. This one just going. Ah! <laughs> I hate it up here. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sorry, no. It's like no. <laughs> this sucks. Anyway, welcome to the Skin Kite Festival. Yay! <laughs> oh, and they got little like skin flags coming off the. Yeah. yeah. That's real sweet. I keep thinking of that Mary Poppins song. Uh, let's, let's go fly a kite. <laughs> 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 And send it soaring. <laughs> Please oh, bring me down. I have so many dreams. I gotta come back down. I gotta come back down and cough my dreams. If I don't hear that voice ever again, I'm just yeah. gonna be just fine. <laughs> Let's look up skin kite. Okay. <laughs> oh. It's a bit of a skin fish. Mm-hmm. I like mine better. Yeah, I like. Yeah, I like yours better too. I don't like the implication of of yours that like several people are gathered below <laughs> to, to fly these skin kites. I imagine it's just like some skeletons and it's their skin. Yeah. <laughs> I was bought by the boys skeleton. <laughs> I implore you to stop. Uh, this has been <laughs> Drawfee and Dragons drawn some monsters. The real monster was us, Mm -hmm. I think, it turns out. Thanks for watching. Uh, Let us know what other stuff you want to see us try and draw and mess up real bad, or just other ideas you have for videos you'd like to see us do. Go ahead and uh, like this video, subscribe to our channel, check us out on all of our various social medias, what we have in the description. We've got a store if you want to buy some merch. This has been a critical failure. We're sorry. We're sorry. Um...